Hello Aries, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for January 4th, 1st to January 4th, 2021. So if you see the smoke, it's just from the Palo Santo that I um, put over my cards and sage, part of my clearing process to move on to the next reading, the next sign. So just disregard that, everything's okay. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single Aries out there. So just take what you can use. Welcome cross watchers. So I read the cards. You decide if they apply to you. And you can vice versa masculine feminine energy. So the oracle cards are going to go here. And the tarot cards are going to go here. These are all going to be for you. These are going to be for the energies around you. You'll probably show up over here as well. So I'm going to switch it up from the fantasy cats oracle deck because it's a pretty small deck I believe it's 32 cards and so they seem to show up a lot and I cannot handle too much repetition it drives me crazy so I'm going to switch out with the oracle of e cards for you for your first three oracle instead of the fantasy cats so the first one for you Aries is pick up after yourself 34 which if you add it would be seven. So pick up after yourself pretty much means don't go around leaving love messes, don't get into relationships, friendships where you make messes and then leave. Try to be clean with your relationships, clean with your friendships, and clean I mean don't leave no room for error, any room for error. Don't leave any room for somebody to misunderstand. That's kind of what that means. So the next one is 38. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. This is beautiful. So that one is 7, and this would be 11. And those are heaven numbers to me. 11 is a master number. If you add the numbers, which I'm big on numbers, and I do add them. So this says that things are going to turn around for you. You're going to have a happy holiday, I'm guessing. That looks really good. So one more of the Oracle of E for you is Hasta La Vista Baby 7. So you have 7, 11, 7. That is beautiful. So this is you're going to end something. You're going to say goodbye to something that isn't for your highest good. I don't know what that would mean. A person, a job, something, a bill. I'm not sure. But there's something you're going to release and you're going to be better for releasing it. So here we go. We're moving to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now. So here we go. So the first one of those is Sky King. So Sky King is somebody who is cold. They don't communicate very much. Very cold. So Tower. The Tower means that something's going to fall apart. This could be what this relates to, to the Hasta La Vista. So there's something that is going to end or something that's going to change. And it looks like it's going to change for your better. So, Eight of C is my selfish card. This is somebody who carries only who cares only about material possessions. They want the nicest car. They want the nicest shoes. It's all about keeping up with the Joneses, if you will. So, Three of C is friendships, friends around you. And the next one is Fire Queen. So, this tells me one of your friends is angry at you, or a female around you is angry. Feel free to vice versa, masculine and feminine, where it would apply. So, Nine of Sky is saying somebody can't sleep. Somebody's very stressed out at whatever this pertains to. It's going right in front of the tower. So, it seems like whenever this happens, you are going to be stressed out. But I do feel like it's going to resolve itself for the better. So then you have Six of Earth, which is generosity, which means somebody's going to help you or you're going to help somebody else. Again, Ten of Earth. So this is generosity again. So you have two generosity cards, Aries, where somebody's helping you or you're helping somebody else. And that is beautiful. I like seeing stuff like that. I really do. It's nice to offer generosity where you can offer it. It's a good quality. So then you have Ace of Sky. So Ace of Sky tells me this is kind of a warning card for me. It says there's going to be some harsh words or it says that if you choose to go past this warning, it's going to be difficult. The people beyond this warning are going to make it difficult for you. So then you have Sea Kitten. Sea Kitten is somebody who is very emotionally balanced, grounded. Uh, they could be younger than you, could be a child, a grandchild. Good kitty. This is beautiful. This is good karma coming to you, Aries. You have put positive energy 
out into the universe and the universe is going to bring it back to you. So the priestess. The priestess is intuition. Listening to your intuition, but this is somebody who has a lot of intuition. And I know an Aries that has a lot of intuition. They don't even realize how much intuition they have. But this is a lot. This is a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a lot of intuition. So Five of Earth is somebody feeling left out in the cold. Somebody feels like um, they're left out in the cold, basically. So Seven of Sea is denial. There's something right in front of somebody that they're denying. They're not seeing it. So Eight of Sky is somebody feeling stuck. We are kind of getting that repetition in these cards. This is, it may have to do with family, but this also pertains to you're not really stuck. The cat can easily get out from under the branches, but it feels overwhelmed, which tells me it's in your head. Um, and I understand the feeling. When our body feels stressful and we feel stuck and then our head is making it worse, I totally understand that. So be aware of it. Try to calm yourself down, take deep breaths, and tell yourself everything's going to be okay. And I know it's easier said than done. I totally understand. It's hard for me to say stuff like that when the cards come up and say you're worrying or you're anticipating something bad and the cards say don't do that. So the next one, I'm switching to the Tarot Illuminati. So this is Queen of Cups. So this is somebody coming in to offer love or an apology. This also is a lot of intuition. So Two of Pentacles is somebody having a decision to make or juggling two ideas, juggling two people, some sort of juggling situation going on there. So Six of Swords is somebody moving away. Somebody's had enough of something and they're moving away from this indecision. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is somebody getting a broken heart. Either somebody brought a third party into a situation or they put something else before their loved one. So I kind of thought that when I saw the juggling two of pentacles, but I wasn't sure because nothing else has indicated a third party. But moving away, and then this is a third party right there. So I do see the juggling. And a Queen of Cups is honest. She is very honest. So if you were juggling and not telling the Queen of Cups, you will pay consequences. Whoever this applies to. I don't feel like it's Aries. So Seven of Cups says that somebody had a lot of options. A lot of options, many choices, and it went to their head. And they thought they could play around with some, two people. So Six of Cups says somebody wants to come around again and apologize and re-ignite um, the relationship, but do it correct this time. So now I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you, Aries. So the first one for you is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. This is beautiful because this makes your heart happy. It makes your cells and your body happy. It makes your brain happy. It makes people around you happy. So humor is a really good way to lighten your vibration and change um, darkness or heaviness in you. Very good. So relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. This is so truthful. So I feel like this last year you've kind of learned what people are for your highest good and what people are not and you're kind of more aware of it now. I feel like you're going to be more um, light-hearted about relationships which is good. So then we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And you can see guilt is a spiral effect. It just goes and goes and goes. So uh, it's good to deal with feelings. It's reality to deal with emotions that we feel. But I suggest writing down why you feel guilt. Leave it for a day or two. Go back, read it again. Critique it. Finish it up. Like put, add things you want to add. Take away things you want to take away. Read it again in a couple more days or a week, if you will or even a couple hours, and then throw it away. Release it. When you release it, say, I'm going to release this guilt for my higher good and move forward from here. And that should be enough. That should be a way for you to move on and not hold any guilt feelings. All right, so now I'm going to pull the soul's journey, or the soul's whisper, 
Whispers of the Ocean card for you. I do get them all mixed up. My brain goes really fast. So 35, help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. This is the parrotfish. And the parrotfish is very good at gnawing coral with their teeth. They can break coral away and make sand. So that tells how strong you are at something. You can gnaw away at something very hard and make sand of it. So be aware of that. So the next one for you is gliding through currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease, getting it going inward and bringing your understanding perspective or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. This is the manta ray, I believe. And the manta ray f swims with their mouth open and they get plankton in there. So I do feel like going with the current means that go with the energy around you. Try not to fight the energy. If there's harsh energy around you, try not to go against that. Kind of move away from it if you can. So just pay attention to the energy around you and go with the current for now. Because that's what that is saying to you. Don't fight anything. Don't fight emotions. Don't fight um, people that don't agree with you. Just try to go with the flow. So the angels and ancestors for you is the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. This is the best card in all the deck. So this is happiness and your sun is coming to you. Very beautiful Aries. I'm very happy for you. And the next one is High Priest, Intend and Create. Wow. So this talks about, I see the Metrodon star in there. I see the wing, which is the universe. He has his caducus, if you will. I feel like this is a hawk. I see the eye of Horus in there. This is beautiful. This really tells me that you probably have a past life connection. It takes me back to that priestess card. So I feel like there's somebody around you, because we had the female version and the male version, there's somebody around you that is just as uh, knowledgeable in intuition as you are. Aries, there's somebody around you that's the opposite sex. Um, it doesn't have to be, but you can flip the masculine feminine energy. But I do feel like there's somebody around you, and it's a friend that has the same intuition as you have, and... I feel like you could have lived a past life together, definitely. So whoever comes to your mind when I say this to you is probably who it is. Your first intuition in your brain is usually spot on. So this was a really good reading, Aries. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Aries.